total eclipse. It came, it went. Was I there for it? Eh, kind of. So in my neck of the woods, I was very close to the point of totality. I would have had to go here, but instead I stayed here. Over the weekend, my daughter had a dance competition, and I chose to see that star instead of the one in the sky. Now on Monday, I could have driven up to the area of totality, but the area of totality is in the middle of nowhere, and I did not want to drive in a ton of traffic with these guys minus these things. When you separate them, things get a little dicey. New Englanders aren't known for being patient drivers. So I stayed down here and I made the most of it. So I drove up to the beach because the wave report said things were looking all right. Turns out it was better than that. Apparently all the clams wanted to see the eclipse too. And they were everywhere. More than I ever seen in one time. It's like Red Lobster just blew up here. So I had on loan the 70 to 300 millimeter lens from Fujifilm. They were kind enough to let me use it. And I tried my hand at wave photography. And let me tell you, it's not easy. I walked away with a ton of stinkers, but out of the whole bunch, some of them were all right. Just okay. So I took a photo of this coastline with the people walking down the beach and the buildings in the background. And it was weird because there was this weird distortion in the photos. I didn't know if it was from the lens or the camera or if that was just the heat coming off the sand. Something I've never seen before. So I kept going. I pulled out something that I haven't used in a while. And that was the very original X100. I still haven't got the X100 Mark VI. Still waiting. But I thought this would get me out of a funk and using it would be beneficial. It was it was a total pain in the ass to use. My God has the Fujifilm line come a long way since the original X100. But I walked away with a few keepers. And then it was time for the eclipse. Around here, totality would have been around about 3.30. And we went to my parents' house to check it out. It 
It was an interesting atmosphere. The sky got dim, things got eerie, but that's as far as it went. No, it's not going to be the whole thing for us. I took a few photos. Again, they're no keepers. I'm sure there are hundreds out there like that. But it was a fun experience. And maybe next time I'll check out Totality. I won't have to wait too long, will I? So after the eclipse, I went back to the beach. I wanted to do round two to see if I can improve a little bit better. Spoiler, not really. But I did walk away with a few keepers. I did one more shot of the coastline with the buildings in the background. This time it was backlit by an amazing sunset and I was able to focus on this couple walking their dogs. Now the distortion is still there and I'm pretty confident that it has something to do with the weather, the heat coming off and the camera picking that up. But I really like these photos. I like the couple walking. I like the dogs being frantic. And then lastly, I love this photo of the guy looking down at his dog and the dog looking back up at him. I think this one is my one of my favorites. And then as I was about to leave, I caught one last photo, two photos actually. The sun was setting, the light was lighting up the clouds in the background of this tree, and it looked really cool. I took a Velvia shot and a classic negative shot. And both of them look cool, but I'd like to know which one you like better. Velvia or classic Nick? Let me know in the comments below. So finally, I ended the day with some pizza by the boardwalks. And I also grabbed a few shots. As I was waiting for my order, I caught this photo of a girl looking at her phone and the mood was cool, the lighting was awesome, and I'm really happy with this photo. This was the last one I took of the day and I think it's a keeper. So yeah, that was my eclipse day. I got to see 94%, which is better than no percent. And I walked away with some cool photos. And it helped me keep my mind off the X-106. Still waiting. I'm sure it'll come any day now. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Hope you like the photos. We'll see you next time.